Jennifer and I am the owner and designer of Porcelain. Um, and today we are going to do the Kristen Tank add-on. Um, now this is the second variation. So what I have done is I did a peekaboo back. So we have a nice little peekaboo back. And we also have sewn these as like princess panels completely down. Um, and it has a, ooh, there we go a shelf bra which is kind of cool it's sewn separately so it's looser you can do a thicker elastic if you want um, and what this is designed to do is it really kind of hugs the breast a little bit so then the shirt doesn't have to sit as tight right underneath the breast but this is the Christina top so I did the Christina top and the um, and the Kristen bottom and as you can see that the Christina has one seam here um, but the Kristen has two, but it looks really kind of cute and nice. Um, what I did, um, well, no, I'll go through the sewing steps on it, but I actually combined these and then I sewed these as the princess panels. Um, for the back, um, I did do full lining on this piece and this piece. That way we get a clean finish of the neckline and the opening. Um, I did power net in here. You don't need to use power net. This is going to be a little bit more clingy for me and a little bit more supportive. Um, there is no power net on this side. And the reason why I decided to add the power net in the back is to give the front a little bit more support. Um, but you can certainly double layer and put power net in any of these or just double layer the fabric to, for a little bit more stability. Um, and then these are the straps from the Jackie. As I kind of messed up this strap, but once it's worn, you won't be able to see it. Um, Cause right now it's twisting and I did not sew it very well. Um, so I did my little yellow half inch strap. I actually used the half inch hardware, the three quarter inch ring, and I'm sorry, the, the yeah, that's a three quarter inch, that ring, and then this is the one inch ring for the front. And there we go. So the first thing we need to do before we can start cutting out our pattern is we actually have to slightly alter the cup pattern. So whichever pattern on the cup that goes into the side seam, we're gonna need to adjust it um, to work with the full back of the tank. Now the reason is because <clears throat> each of these, the side seams vary a little bit depending on the cup, but I didn't wanna have to offer a really large range of this. So this is the side back in just, um, basically this is just for the 38. So there is one set for each of the band sizes. So what we need to do is we actually, there is a notch here and um, I know this isn't a proper notch. I just drew this in here so you can see. But what we want to do is we need to draw in our seam allowance and actually I'll do it on this side. So you can see, so the seam allowance is three eighths of an inch or one centimeter. And what we can do is I need to get my intersection down here is line this up to where the notch is on the body. And then what we want to do is we are just going to look, if we can line that up. Oh, some of them we may actually have to um, lower this piece and some of them we may end up just having to trim off. And so what I'm looking at here is I'm looking at right where those meet. And so then I can come in here and then just blend. So this pattern piece has to be shaved off this much. And since I'm doing it asymmetrically, I'm also going to do the same thing on this other one because I have to check it on both patterns. Really just to, we really just need to kind of know where it starts. <clears throat> So start that up with that notch, line it up there. And then this one is actually a perfect match. So this one matches right here. Um, so this one doesn't have to get adjusted at all, but this one does. Um, and so you're gonna have to compare the side cut pattern. Um, does not matter which side cup it is. It could be from the Christina, the Laurel, or the Jackie. All of them will have to get adjusted so they can fit into the side. Um, armhole piece of the back. So to properly construct the front, we're actually going to do this in two parts. The 
lining of the front is going to be used as basically like a shelf bra. So I'm gonna remove those from my bits right here. Um, and as you can see, I'm using the Christina top. Um, and I'm, you cannot, can't see the whole thing, but you can see the bottom of it. And then I'm using the Kristen bottom. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna be able to line up our princess seams. And because this one has this extra panel in here, we wanna combine these three pieces first. Um, we can attach these two together, these two together, and then once these are attached, they can get attached here. And then we can do the whole princess lines. So the first thing, well, we can do a couple things because this is actually pretty easy. Um, I'm just gonna take and sew these two together. So it's a lot easier to line up princess seams when you can do this. Now this doesn't really work for the regular construction because um, we do want to have the seam um, that we can secure underneath the bust, which we can do with the lining for the top. So that one's all together. And then we can put these ones together. You see I've got my, my pattern weights down here. Um, because it's hanging off the edge and I wanted you to be able to see some of all of it. Okay, so move the pattern weights to those. We'll set that one aside so we can sew. Oop, I just lost the other pattern piece. Set that one aside. And now we're gonna work on pinning these three pieces together. I'm now going to take and overlock these seams together so then I can attach it to this piece. And I will be back with this sewn. Okay, so these panels are now attached. So what I want to do is I want to pin this piece over here. And so this one, I did not do a really great job on my seams, so I'm just going to clean them up. I just trim it all down a little bit stretch so you have a little bit of room to play. Okay. Now if these pieces were, um, if this was the Jackie top, we would have attached the pieces, um, this one to the Jackie piece, but because this is the Christina, there's only one panel on the top as opposed to the two on the top for the um, Jackie. get that center bit lined right up to that top center. I'm going to put extra pins in here. Because this is such an extreme curve right here, you might want to go in and um, baste it first before you take it to the overlock. want to line up. Okay, so we have this one and we have the panel over here and this panel over here. So we can attach all of these three panels and then we'll come back. Okay, so let's take a look at the three pieces. We have that center piece seam looks nice. We have this piece over here. Seam looks good. We have this piece over here. And so now we're going to start assembling our princess seams on here. So of course you want to line it up starting at the waist. 
And we, we probably want the seams to go uh, doesn't really matter. If you want to have the seams up or down, I'll probably I'll point mine down. So right here, get my that right there. ready to sew. Okay, so all of my, my front is all put together and my seam looks pretty good. I'm really happy with that. This looks good. Okay, so now the only thing I really need to do is I need to assemble the lining. Now if you look at the top, you can see that this is actually asymmetrical. So I need to make sure I'm doing this in the right order. So if I sew it like this, I will have the exact same thing as I have underneath. And I actually want to do it the other way. So this comes like here. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on this side, just so I've got the first pin holding it in place. So that way I make sure that I can have a clean finish on the inside, otherwise I'll have the seams pointing me so they line up perfectly. We'll sew this together. So now I have my lining ready. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on my back. Now to create the full back, we're going to do it's going to be fully lined. So we have two of the side pieces. Um, in the lining and the self. Um, I'm going to do kind of contrast. So I've got two of, I've got the top and the lining for the center. And then in the very center back, the lower portion, um, I also have a lining in here. So for these ones, I did a power mesh. Um, I think this was what I had available at the time when I cut it out. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put these two pieces right sides together. Actually, I think that was right sides together. And I'm going to pin around this curve. Now you can sew an elastic around this. I'm trying to see if I have elastic over here. You can do it without the elastic, but the elastic might actually help keep its shape. So I'm going to line this up. And then we go over to the machine and I will be right back after I stitch this together. Okay, so I've gone ahead and stitched that and then we can flip this so it's right side out. Now you're welcome to do some top stitching on here, um, although if you do I'd probably make sure that the stitch is going to stretch since it's going around the body. You want to make sure that you're not snapping the threads. Um, 
So I'm just going to pin this right now, just kind of over here, because this is going to get inserted into the top. So I can just kind of keep that pinned around. I think it'll stay on its own, so I'm not going to end up doing any top stitching on my own. So now we're going to take this with the right side, and we're going to line this up as this. So this is going to be on this side, so you can kind of see, and then actually I've got, <clears throat> it's a little uneven. Um, and we're also going to be sandwiching this so we can kind of clean finish this top bit. So I'm sandwiching the lining between these. So I've got that side pinned. And then I can also do, get this side pinned. So I get this side lined up and sandwiched over here. So after these pieces are sandwiched, then we can continue pinning around this scoop shape. So continue pinning the edges together. So the only part that's gonna be sandwiched in here is just these two little end bits. So you gotta be careful when you're sewing that you're not sewing something you shouldn't be sewing. Okay, for this I'm just gonna do my overlock stitch right along this whole shape, sandwiching in that bottom bit into this top bit. Um, you're also welcome to put a little piece of elastic in this also as you're sewing. Um, I'm not going to, but you may find you need to. And the same thing is if you're gonna end up doing um, any type of top stitching, just be careful. <clears throat> okay, so looking at what we've got, we have this part sandwiched in. So now we're gonna clean finish our neckline. So here you're gonna have to do kind of like a little burrito roll on it. Um, so we can probably roll the whole thing up. So we can then kind of pin around it. So we can sew our necklines together. And this I would recommend doing um, some elastic. It'll help keep the shape and help keep it from stretching out. Now I know some people um, have done these, um, the whole sports bra without neckline elastic. Um, usually if the fabric is you know, pretty thin and stretchy, you're gonna wanna add the elastic to it. So I'm just gonna go scoop around that neck. So I'm gonna sew around that neck. I'm gonna get some elastic. I'm actually, with the elastic, I'm gonna stitch it onto the orange side. So onto the self side. So that way when it's um, finished, it will actually kind of force a roll to the inside. Okay, so you've got this piece. We can flip that out. So we've got that clean finish of that neckline. Okay, now what we can do is we can attach our straps. Ugh. So making sure that they are gonna sit like this so we can attach this right in here. So I'm gonna butt it right to the edge of the seam. My strap is twisted for some reason, it's like, when I top stitched it, I did not do a very good job. And the, the face looks okay. Eh. I'll leave it. So coming up to the edge. So I've got that side here. And then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna flip this, the lining part over. Okay, 
Okay, then we have the other side. But that orange, the strap all the way over to that seam. And then fold that lining bit over. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to stitch this with the straight stitch um, because I want to make sure that this is nice and secure. You're welcome to also stitch it with the overlock afterwards, but I like to do this one with the, uh, the straight stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and do that so then we can move on to the rest of it. Okay, so my back neckline to the strap is complete. That one's a little, a little wadded up in there. Let's see what's going on over here. Not sure. It's not perfect, but it's for me. It looks okay. So we've got that back strap in the center back. Now we're gonna take, and we're gonna sandwich, we wanna do these over. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna line these up. Actually line up my, the edges over here. And then line these up. Make sure that the bottom has both layers lined up. I like to move around a little bit, so just kind of stick a couple pins here and there to get it all in place. I need to try not to make so much noise over there. My daughter is making paper airplanes over in the in the editing chair. Please, I'm bored. Have that side and then we can take the lining piece so actually I think that's the wrong one this one I guess it's gonna be nope I was right the first time and then we're gonna take and we can sandwich this so this way it's fully lined on all the pieces. Okay, now that I have pinned everything and I can see I'm uneven over here. I don't know if that um, happened some, somewhere along the way, but I will start sewing from the top down to make sure that if something did get a little bit 
Because this side looks okay. It's a little bit off over here. Um, sometimes these things happen, but it's better that it's at the bottom because then you can cut it off and make it even. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sew both of these. I'm going to use my overlock machine, but of course you can always use the zigzag if you want. Um, I'll be back. Alright, so the inside is nice clean finished. And as you can see, I, I don't know what happened down here. I'm going to end up having to trim the whole hem back. <laughs> but the front looks okay. I think. I don't know. So. <clears throat> I had seen rip this once before, so things kind of stretched out a little bit. Um, so we are now have the back that is finished. Um, and now we need it to attach it to the front. Okay. So we have the, the shelf bra, the, the front of the sports bra. So we are, we want to have this so, um, it'll kind of hug the body. So now we're going to work on clean finishing the um, shelf bra. Now I'm using this three quarter inch um, kind of brushed band elastic that um, I used for bras. And you can use something that's a little bit wider. You can use something that's a little bit narrower. Um, I like wider because um, I feel like it also works to help absorb any moisture that's underneath the breast. Um, and what we're going to do, it's kind of like how you would be attaching the elastic to a band. Um, but so normally we would do it so the right sides are together. When we flip it, this is the side that's facing the body. So what we actually want to do is we want to do it so when it's finished, the brushed side is facing the body and this is facing the body. So it's kind of like we're doing right side to wrong side. So right side of the, um, the lining, the shelf bra, to the wrong side of the elastic. And so I'm going to actually sew this, um, I'm going to overlock it. You can zigzag it right on the edge if you want. And then when I'm done, I'm going to flip it and I'm just going to zigzag it. And I'm going to do both of those steps and then come back over here. I'm basically, I'm not going to stretch the elastic. I'm going to follow this all the way around um, and then I will be back. Okay, so now this is finished. So we have a nice brushed edge to it and I've got a loose thread. Um, and we can actually just trim up the sides, just kind of following the side seam. And then what we're going to do is we're going to then work on finishing the neckline. So clean finishing your neckline. So we're going to do it so the right sides are facing each other. And um, depending on which sports bra design you're using, um, or I mean which uh, strap you're doing, um, so for the Jackie strap, it's just going to be a ring so we can completely clean finish the neckline um, without having to worry about the strap attachment. Either way, do the neckline, then you can do the strap if you have to do the a separate strap. So I'm just going to line my necklines together and clean finish it and make sure just you would clean finish it in the way that the pattern calls for it. So the laurel has kind of like that V shape. Um, the Jackie has more of kind of the square neckline. And then this Christina is more of a scoop neckline. So complete it depending on whichever of the patterns you're doing. And then I'm going to be sewing elastic onto this side. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I will come back and work on this again. Okay, so my neckline is clean finished. So for this one, um, it's I'm actually going to be clean finishing the top of it, so I'm actually going to stitch it up on the top, but I want to discuss the next step. So, ah. So the armhole, because we're doing the front and back separately, we do not have the same way to clean finish the whole armhole because we have a single layer here, we have a double layer here, so it makes it a little bit harder. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attach them all together at the side, but what we can do is we can kind of sandwich in the top um, so that way at least we have a clean finish underneath here. And then when we do the armhole, um, it, we can actually just 
stitch it and flip it. Um, so for this one, I'm going to pin this to the orange. So pin orange to orange, or the body to body. We're, we're not including the, um, the lining as of right now. So we have this. And so what we can actually do is we can take and kind of clean finish that. So we have a clean finished on the on the inside at the top. So with that armhole there, I'm just gonna scoop this around. Pin now the lining. Okay, so that side's in there. And so when we kind of flip it over and out, it'll be clean. We can do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to sew my side seams and I'll be back. I'm also going to close up my shoulder since this one's going to have a ring attached to it. So the only thing left to do once I finish up these seams is to do with the armhole. So if you do need to attach the strap, go ahead and attach your strap um, as we need to, and then we can just finish up the sides or the armhole last. Okay, I'm just going to come in and clip some threads. get that shelf raw all here. So flipping that right side out. So you can see we have the nice little shelf on the inside. And since mine is, there we go, there's the little strap bit. So if you would have your straps in the front, we can then pin kind of our armholes together. Um, and you want to try and flatten it best you can. Um, so you kind of keep them. And if you wanted to do any top stitching, you should do it before we finish the armhole. I am not doing any right now. You can see down over here looks fine. And then I'm just going to pin over here where I've got that, the other layer. So that's the armhole. Get this side pinned. So I've got my two armholes pinned, which is really almost the last, one of the last steps. So now I'm going to take and I'm going to sew elastic to the inside and then I can fold it over and clean finish it. Or I guess if you want the elastic to be more visible, um, you can stitch it to the outside and we'll fold it under. Either way, we're going to just do a stitch and flip. And for any little odd angles that we might have, this will help clean it all up. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that. I'm gonna stitch it, then flip it, and then we'll come back and discuss the hem. 
So the tank is pretty much done. I've got the shelf bra, which is loose in here. Um, so that's kind of the idea is that this will kind of be the shelf. Um, and it's just attached on the side. We've clean finished that bit. We've stitched and flipped for the armhole with the elastic. So let's take this and pull this right side out. Let's just kind of take a look at the work we've done. Here we've got the back, little peekaboo. And then the front, this all looks really great. Um, the last little thing we need to do is we need to handle the hem. So usually what I will do is I take and I overlock the edge of the entire hem and then I take it, turn it under and um, basically stitch it with a zigzag at about three quarters of an inch and that way you got a nice clean finish. So I want to show you, I did my zigzag on the bottom, it's stretching a little bit on me. Um, but I, you can see it makes a nice clean finish by doing the overlock and then the zigzag. That way if the zigzag, for some reason the, the fabric starts to fray a little bit, it's nice caught in there. So let me do that. Clip that last thread. And there we go. This is... the Kristen tank with the Christina top and the peekaboo back.